This is part two of the ultrasonic sound device build. If you need to watch part one for a complete breakdown of the wiring, I'll leave a link. Watch that. I recommend mocking it up yourself on the bench just to make sure everything works and that you understand it. I went with an ammo can. Uh, shout out to Game of Life channel. I don't know where he got the idea, but it's a good idea. This is a Plano and uh, it's a nice box. So first step, I cut two holes for the speakers. So I, I kind of cut them up, you know, on the top half of the can because a lot of the components are going to live in the bottom. So I wanted some space. I also wanted to leave room around the outside of the holes in case I wanted to do cones with funnels like he did, or if I want to add PVC barrels. With the barrels, I think I would use some sort of flange, so I need some space between the speakers and some space all the way around. I don't have a hole saw laying around, so I used a box cutter, and I just carefully, I made a Sharpie circle, and I just, kept making cuts deeper and deeper and deeper. And it it was a little effort, but it wasn't that hard. So I used a box cutter. If I were to make more of these, I would buy a hole saw, but I'm trying to go as cheap as possible. That's the front. So now the back, and don't mind the glue on here ready because I had it together and I took it apart to do some other stuff. So what I did was I cut another hole on the back, a rectangle because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the power supply brick in here and I'm going to fish the plug head through the box. So when everything is closed up and sealed up, I'm going to seal around this, this uh, cord here. I'm just going to have the plug hanging out of the box. We're going to go to my friend's house and we're going to pick a spot, point it at this neighbor's dog. And what we're going to do is we're going to take an extension cord. We're going to have the female end plugged into this. We're going to waterproof it, saran wrap and electrical tape or something. And it's going to be permanently plugged into this. And all the way at the other end of the extension cord, you'll have the male end. And so every time he wants to turn this on, he has to just run over and plug in the extension cord. And it should kick on. So that's the setup we're gonna have. Two holes in the front for the speakers. One hole in the back for the plug. I forgot to mention, we're gonna use all the same tools and parts as the first video, except for the addition of a soldering iron, paste flux, solder, hot glue gun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I've already had this mocked up, so I know where I want some things. So the brick is gonna be on the bottom. I'm gonna use some hot glue, I'm gonna tack. I'm just gonna use a couple tiny dabs and I'm gonna tack down the brick to the bottom of the ammo can. And I'm gonna have it sort of cocked in the bottom like that. And I'm gonna have the most cord coming out the back that I can. Okay, hot glue gun. So you don't need much. It doesn't take much. This stuff's pretty strong. So I'm just gonna take, I already have some little dabs here. Just, you know, three points of contact. And I'm just gonna stick that down. Okay, and just to mock this up, so I know how this is gonna go. What I do is I put the chemo if you're looking at it like I am on the left, I put the timer delay on the right, like that. And I'm gonna wire it up, so I'm not gonna do this now, but after I'm finished wiring, these will also get stuck down to the brick of the power supply with just two tiny dabs of hot glue. The next thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna solder the leads 
onto the speakers first, outside of the box. All right, I've got the speakers with two leads on each of them. Just fish them through the holes. And I'm just gonna dab them into place. So I'm gonna hold them where I want them. And I'm just gonna put one dab so you're going to have to hold the speakers level because the glue is going to want to cock them to the side. I'm just going to put one dab on the side and hold it. All right, I'm going to do the same with the other one. Okay, I have the speakers tacked on and I've got the leads through the holes. So now I'm going to do the rest of the wiring uh, in the box. And I'm not going to show every step of the wiring. If you need to see the wiring, go to the first video. So, be back. Okay, everything is wired up. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tack the delay timer and the chemo down to the, the brick of the power supply. I'm just going to put two tiny dabs of hot glue. I'm going to stick those down on top. And then I'm going to finish hot gluing all the way around the speakers. And I'm going to do that now. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do. Okay, when you cut the circles out for the speakers, you're left with two discs of plastic. And I just cut some odd shapes. I already have this made because I did this already. And I'm going to fit sort of like a plate around the cord and I'm gonna hot glue everything and seal that up. Here's the finished setup. Okay, box, speakers, and cable. That's the only thing you can see. So all you have to do now is plug it in. Have it set on ultrasonic and it should come on silently. There you go. So that way everything's in the box so that way you still have access to the brass screw for the delay timing, timer duration, and your 1 through 10 on the generator. Here's it turned down to three. So everything's working. I'm going to start it at eight and a half, nine, and see what happens. I'll show you the setup at my buddy's, and I'll show you the final rig. Okay guys, this is the final setup. I just have an extension cord and I have it plugged in to the device. I saran wrapped it and electrical taped it. And I just have it mounted. On a post. Okay, and that the other end of the extension cord, super easy. But you just plug it in, and then it's gonna run. Okay, final thoughts. My friend's problem dog is pretty far away. It's a considerable distance, so we have some hope for this to work but it might not. So the box has plenty of room to add some future components. Uh, obviously you, it would be nice to add a key fob, um, RF. You could just click it on and off. And if 
we need more power, then we could also fit a small power amplifier inside the box. Again, shout out to Game of Life. If he thought of the ammo can design, then good on him. The delay timer switch idea I got from a review on Amazon for the chemo generator. The guy on there had, a, had an RF key fob, remote start, and he had a small power amplifier also made by chemo. He also had two PVC tube cannons and his was also battery powered so it was a wireless setup. I kind of wanted a power cable version of that for my friend so we went with the extension cord setup corded. If your neighbor's dog is next door like over a fence or close by I don't see why this wouldn't work. You might just need to play around with the frequency 1 through 10 on the chemo to maybe dial in a good pitch. I'm not a pro, I don't claim to be, but I could try to answer questions. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. I don't know, if you want me to build you one, hit me up through message and maybe we could work something out. Stay safe while making it. Don't get shocked. Don't burn yourself. Use ear protection. If you do have a barking dog, I'm sorry. Uh, we totally understand. It's just not, it's not right to do to other people. So keep fighting the good fight and protect the right to your peace and quiet. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.